This video is for health professionals and shows how to monitor the screening dashboard within the Lifeguard platform. When I log in, the first thing I want to check is that I have the screener role set up here. Um, I'm using the test system, you will see something different in this field. Um, I then can see the patients who have tested outside of the clinical thresholds that we've set and need some attention. Um, the more acute patients are shown on the left, the less acute ones are shown on the right. Um, I'm going to select patient Paul Washer who just reported and we can see that there are a number of symptoms here outside of the clinical thresholds. Um, Paul has a severe fever, very severe chest pain and if I scroll to the right, a very severe, tight, severe tightness in chest, um, severe shortness of breath and a very severe cough. I'm going to flag that I have reviewed each of these graphs. Um, and then obviously I want to reach out and have a chat with Paul. Now there's a few ways I can do that. I can message him through the app. I can set up a video consult through the app or I can just phone him and have a conversation. And then good practice is to make a note of what it is that I've done. So I can select the symptom group and say, have spoken with Paul and advised that he comes in to emergency. For example, I can save that against his patient notes. And then I would clear the alerts, which will remove him from the dashboard. Um, so I have finished dealing with Paul. Um, if I want to then go back and see what's happened, I can click on the screening log, and this gives me a textual log of the events that have occurred. Um, I can see, for example, that um, yeah, Paul has triggered an alert. I can see when it was reviewed and I can see um, the symptoms he reported and the triage notes. These can then be copied back into the patient's electronic medical record.